This man Wright is, well, an individualist. He scorns the commonplace, the red tape, the details, the incompetent. He stays away from the crowd, ahead of it, usually. And when the crowd is composed of other architects, he usually stays far away. The architecture of today, the so-called modern architecture, says Mr. Wright, is servile, insignificant refuge, or puerile nostalgia. This is hardly the kind of talk to draw cheers from the American Institute of Architects, a group composed of practically all the leading T-square and triangle men, with the exception, that is, of Frank Lloyd Wright. Things have never been too harmonious between Mr. Wright and the AIA, the body professional, the fraternity of the non-Wright practitioners. Some of the AIA men have had unkind words to say about the individualist from the prairie. And he, not infrequently, has loosed a blast or two in their direction. In 1949, there was a flourish-filled burying of the hatchet, the AIA awarding its gold medal to Mr. Wright. The other day, we asked for some of the details from the man who then was president of the AIA, Douglas Orr. We also asked Mr. Wright himself for a few comments. We've taken the liberty of putting some of the two gentlemen's thoughts side by side. Well, the AIA, I have never joined because of they know why. Mr. Wright has always been a lone wolf. He was not one given to joining associations, and he had some disagreement. When they gave me the gold medal at Houston, I told them frankly why. Feeling that the architectural profession is all that's the matter with architecture, why should I join them? The proposal to award the gold medal to Mr. Wright naturally brought... Uh, differences of opinion within the profession as to the form of architecture which Mr. Wright advocated and as to uh, his being at times critical of the procedures of the Institute. Oh, I would do anything I'd ask me for except join them to make a harbor of refuge for the incompetent. Mr. Wright considered the Institute uh, a very conservative body. Because I believe less and less in professionalism as I see it practiced. I think it's a kind of refined gangsterism. So, as Henry Lou said in astonishment, what? He said, are you an old amateur? And I said, yes, Mr. Luce, I am the oldest. And that's the story of the AIA.